hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how basically you can convert ip address to an actual location and plot it on a google map using google maps api in javascript so basically you can see this is basically whenever you load the application it will uh, get your current location it will first of all get your ip address of the internet connection and it will convert that ip ad ad address to the current location so you can see gaziabad uttar pradesh india so this is my current location and now it is plotting this location on the google map here you can see that basically it has plotted this location on the google map so now what is happening so basically this is the input field which is given here so here i can uh, enter any sort of ip address so let's suppose i write a ip address here let's suppose 190 78 56 67 so it's a valid ip address now if i just on change event will trigger and you can see that now it will if you see basically it will add this marker here so the location is uh, la victoria venezuela basically you can see it's a location inside the world which has got this ip address so it automatically converts this ip address to a location using a api that we are using and then it plots this location on the google map this is basically the whole application that i am showing you now let's suppose if i show you in real time let's suppose i change this to 56.7898 this is the and now you will see you can see it is plotted this this is uh, chicago united states so you can see so if you nice thing about this if you now click on the marker it will also tell you more information about this inside a info window you can see that if i click this you will now see more information so you will get to know about a lot of things related to google maps api and how to convert your ip address to an actual location and then you how you can track that location on the google map let's suppose if i change this location 67 any ip address you can write here any valid ip address and now you can see whenever you enter undefined well, invalid email address then it will come undefined undefined so now i, I will change to you will see that new york this is united states you will see that so it's a very fun little application you can copy paste anybody ip address into this field here like this now you can see belf florida united states so it's a very good application for this application we are using uh, google maps api so if you go to a google cloud console you need to create your own api key and uh, i have given all the source code in the description of this video which i am using right here you can go to my blog post so step by step instruction is given and all the source code is also given so you can just copy paste the source code the link is given in the description of the video so now let's get started for building this application you will require basically a simple index.html file here let me delete all the code and start from scratch so basically guys uh, you just need to copy paste the cdn of what we require here so just go to the blog post you will require the bootstrap cdn it is just required for the styling purposes and also we will be requiring this google maps javascript api so here you just need to replace your own api key so simply i will simply go to my and simply replace this api key here and also guys you just need to enable your own uh, google maps javascript api also so i will replace this and in order to enable this uh, api you need to go to library section and here you just need to enable the google maps javascript api so just search for your api here which is google maps javascript api so this is the api you can see this is the api that you need to enable so simply enable this api I've, i have already enabled this so now we will write the code here so here we will initialize a event out there guys whenever the body is loaded this event will execute which is called as init map so this function we need to execute whenever this will say so now what we can do is that basically we can write the javascript code inside so we can define this function which is init map so basically guys inside this function what will happen as soon as your application loads this function will execute now you can see hype statement is there because of this on load event handler so now inside this we just need to display our google map 
but uh, we will first of all just complete the HTML that we require. So we will use the container class of Bootstrap. Inside this, we will have to use form group class. And here we will allow the user to add the IP address. So here the user can add their own IP address. So here you will say enter your IP address. So this will be required. And basically guys, uh, we will be giving a class to it, bootstrap class, which is form control. So if you now refresh, you will now see enter your IP address. So here the user will enter the IP address. So we will basically uh, have a section out there where we will display the location of the user. So this we will add a ID to it, location text. This will be a simple diff. And the second div, we will attach a map. So here we will be displaying the actual Google map. So here we will be adding a style attribute, which will be, we will be giving a height to it of 500 pixel. That's all. So now guys, we just need to display the actual Google map when we load the page. For displaying the Google map, it's very simple. We will display, we will just make a map variable. And inside this, we will initialize the map, which is very simple. New Google Maps dot map and here we will pass basically the reference which we have given which is this we have given the id here of map here that's why we are using it right here and after this guys we just need to pass some options here first of all the zoom level zoom level you can pass here four let's suppose and then scroll wheel so this option basically it's a boolean option it allows you to scroll in and out of the map here zoom in zoom out with your mouse wheel and the third option is basically the center. So here you can pass the location latitude. You can pass here minus 34.397. And then you can basically pass, sorry, this needs to be dot 397. And longitude will be 150.644. So now if you load the application you will see your map is loaded out there you will see that our google map is successfully loading out there inside this location so it is now displaying it so now we simply need to basically convert the ip address guys we first of all need to get our own ip address of the user which is connected to your website so now to get that ip address we will use basically a website which offers a free api we will make a simple fetch call so it will get, uh, get the current user IP address. So we will make a call here, which is uh, ipfi.org. This is the web website. And here we will make a simple call and we will get the response inside JSON. So you can see this is basically the API that we are using here. If you just copy this address and try to paste this inside the browser, what will happen? it will return the uh, current IP address of mine. So this is my own IP address, which is 103.46201217. This is an IP address. So I just need to simply make a fetch call to this get request. So this will simply return the promise, which is dot then. So we will first of all need to convert this response to JSON. So response dot JSON. And then again, it returns the promise, which will hold the data to us. So inside this guys, we will get the IP address, which is data dot IP. And then we will simply say call a function, which will actually show the location on the map. We will first of all pass the IP address as well as the map variable, this variable that we are passing here. So now we need to define this function guys. Basically this function will actually, uh, first of all, find the location using the IP address and then it will plot that location on the map. So here we will re receive the IP address and the map here. So first of all, guys, what we will do is that, so we will use this IP address, which is there. We will again make a simple fetch call and this will be a different website. This will be HTTPS IP sorry, dot co slash. And then you pass your IP address and then basically slash json slash so now this is a separate website guys this was ip5 this is ipi so these are two very utility based websites where you can if you go to this website it offers a free api which is ipapi.com you can see 
if you pass the IP address, it returns the location of the user. It basically returns the state, city name, country name, IP codes, zip code, time zone, currency. It's a very good API. So we are using this API to make a simple get call. And uh, then after that, it returns the promise. We just need to basically convert this to JSON. So we will simply say here, the response that we are getting. So we simply need to convert the response to JSON and then it will again have the data inside us. So what we need to do guys, we will get that this data here. If you check, if I console log the data, so what it will do, basically if I now open this and try to inspect element, go to console, you will see basically an object is there. It contains a lot of property, which is city name is Ghaziabad. You will see continent code is AS, country is IN, which is India, area. All this information is there, latitude, longitude. So we, de we need these coordinates here, which is this coordinates to plot the location on the Google map. So that's all we need here. So now to basically get the latitude and the longitude, it's very easy. We will simply get the latitude. We will declare a variable which is data dot latitude. And similarly, we will get the longitude uh, data dot longitude. And then guys, we will simply get the location. We will simply say data dot city put a comma and then we will concatenate data dot region and then we will also concatenate the data dot country name that's all country underscore name that's all this is the location and now we simply need to add a marker on the map so now to add the marker guys we will simply declare a marker variable and then new dot google maps dot marker this is a method by which you can add a marker to the map so here you just need to pass the position so position basically guys this will be an object latitude will be equal to the latitude that we got and longitude will be longitude that's all so we are passing these two coordinates that we got from the result and the next option is the actual map so we are getting the map here inside the second argument we are passing it and the third one is the title so title basically is the location that's all the location that we got here like this so now if you see guys what will happen if i open this you will see it will add this red marker on the map here on Ghaziabad. you will see it pinpoints the location of mine this is you can see that now we also need to display this location on the screen guys where the user is located so also when I click this window, when I click this marker, I need to basically show a info window. So now to add that info window, it's very simple. We use this method, which is new Google Maps dot info window. This is basically the method. So info window and here we will simply pass the content, which is location. That's all. So now if you see nothing will happen because we need to basically, if I click at this, uh, marker nothing will happen because we need to add a event handler similar when we click the button we first of all need to attach a event handlers so similar case we need to add a listener to the marker so whenever we click the marker we will attach this event handler this callback function will execute and then we will simply say info window we need to open that window and simply pass the marker that's all so now what will happen guys if I now open this click this you will now see Ghaziabad Uttar Pradesh India so it will show this information to you so it's a very helpful kind of info window that's all now guys we simply need to add the text on the screen so so user can simply say so we can simply say location text you will get the reference document dot get element by id so we have given the id you will see location text so we will getting the reference here after this we can simply say location text inner html 
this is equal to location that's all so now what will it, it will do it will show this location on the top of the screen if you see basically uh, I think some error has taken place let me see if you inspect the element in various cases you can do this I think oh yeah you can see that Ghaziabad Uttar Pradesh India you will see the location is showing here and now the thing is remaining guys if I enter this inside this location so when the on change event handler we just need to update this so what we can do is that inside this input field we can attach a on change event handler so when the value is changed we will simply plot info we will call this method which is uh, automatically execute when this value is changed here we need to now execute this function so we will execute this plot info so right here inside this function guys what we need to do basically we need to call the same function which is the show location on map and this time basically the IP address will be changed here so this time we will simply say document dot get element by ID so we have given this ID if you see we have given I think yeah IP address we have given the ID so we will first of all get the value so here we will pass the updated value of the IP address and then the map reference that's all so now if you see guys basically if I now change this IP address so now if I on change you will now see so this uh, basically it will add the marker automatically whenever the value is changed here now if I try to change this to this one you can see that now if I change this to 56, 78, 98, 34 it is undefined so you let's suppose 144.67, 87, 86 so now you can see that so in this way guys you can build build out this awesome little application where you can track the location of an IP address and plot that location on the Google Maps using Google JavaScript API inside the browser all the source code is given in the description of this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel so that more and more people can watch this video and thank you very much for watching this video